Welcome back, Care Blazer. Today, what I want to talk about is my three steps, three things to ask yourself if you're faced with trying to make a decision for your loved one with dementia. There's no shortage of opinions, people offering to you what they think you should do. So how do you know whether or not that is a person to really listen to? right? We don't want to be in our own bubble and reject everyone around us. We do want to offer and support. And a lot of times people really do have your best interest at heart, but it's really important for you to get very clear and to know when somebody, somebody's opinion is something you should consider or whether it's somebody's opinion where you can just in a respectful way, just say thank you and let it roll off your, roll off your shoulders and realize that's it doesn't matter what they think or doesn't matter what they say. My hope is that this video can bring you a sense of freedom and ease for any future caregiving decision you have to make. As usual, if you haven't already, download your free Careblazer survival guide. It's linked below this video. It's completely free. It's filled with my favorite tips and strategies for handling the most difficult caregiving moments. I hope it can help you like it's helped thousands of other Careblazers. All right, let's get started. Okay, as long as you're interacting with other human beings, you are gonna face human opinions. Some of them are gonna be helpful, many of them not so much. So whenever somebody is trying to offer you some help or advice or opinions on a decision that you've made or in the process of making for your loved one, here are the three questions I want you to ask yourself. Number one, does this person contribute, help, support you in any meaningful way in this situation? If not, then it's not worth spending much time and energy worrying about that person's opinion. Number two, has this person spent time with your loved one to the extent that they would have good familiarity with your loved one's abilities? At a minimum, they've spent one full day with your loved one. If not, not worth time and energy worrying about their opinion. And number three, are you living your life and caring for your loved one to please others and meet others' expectations or are you living your life and caring for your loved one because you wanna do what's best for you and your loved one? Not what's best for Aunt Beth or Uncle Joe. You're doing what's best for you and your loved one. I think one of the hardest things about being a care blazer is that you are making decisions that often other people aren't going to agree with, including your loved one with dementia, they may not agree with it. And it's the difficulty of you just being confident in yourself, knowing you're doing the best that you can, you've made the best decision that you can based on in all the information, and that's enough. And that's okay, even if nobody else agrees with it. In the end, you have to have your own back. You have to support yourself in the decisions you make. It does not matter what anybody else thinks about your decisions. Do you like your decisions? That's what is most important. A lot of careblazers I've talked to have made caregiving decisions based out of anger and resentment. They make this decision because they know it will get so-and-so off their back, or they make this decision because they know that's what the other family wants. And it leads to these feelings of anger and resentment that it, it ends up spilling over and negatively impacting the caregiving relationship. It, it's a lose-lose for everybody, at least by making decisions that you feel confident in, that you're making based in your clear mind, what you think is best for you and your loved one with dementia, you can get behind that and you can support that even when other people don't agree. And it's important that if the person offering you their opinion is somebody who truly does care about you, has expressed their concern for you, for you, truly loves you, wants to see the best for you, if they are expressing their opinion to you, we don't have to turn them all down. We don't have to turn them all away. We don't have to close our ears to all of them. We can truly listen and hear them out because sometimes when we're totally burned out and overwhelmed and stressed and closed off. Sometimes there are people on the outside who can see things from a different perspective that can be helpful. And sometimes we really do need that caring person to say, you know, I'm concerned about you. Like you don't quite seem like yourself, right? Like people who are coming from a good place in their heart, it's okay to listen to them. In the end, you still make whatever decision you want and that's okay. But 
a lot of times people who are offering you their opinions, if it's somebody that you're close to, you care about, you have a meaningful relationship with, it's okay to listen to them. It's okay to let that soak in and hear them out. Most of the time they're coming from a place of love. What I'm talking about are the people who you don't really have a great meaningful relationship with. They don't really understand what you're going through. They haven't been involved in the care at all. And they seem to be um, not really considering you in the decision that you're making and how that decision impacts you and your own well-being. I hope this video has helped you, Care Blazer, become more free and clear in how to make caregiving decisions, how to be confident in your caregiving decisions, and how to drop the need to try to convince everybody else that the decision you're making is the right decision. The right decision is whatever decision you make, Care Blazer, okay? I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you happen to know another Care Blazer that you think could benefit from the words in this video, feel free to share it by clicking the share button below this video. And I'll be back next week as always. Until then, keep up the great work. Bye.